Hey, Shalom everyone, this is Chris Shoemaker, also known as Yehuda Ben Shomer, and welcome to the Daily Drosh. Today's Daily Drosh is taken from Proverbs chapter 28, verse 11. It says, a rich person is wise in his own eyes, but a discerning poor person sees right through him. You know, a lot of times we see rich people and we think, wow, if they're rich, they must have a lot of smarts. They must, you know, to be really wealthy, you got to be really smart because they, you got to have wisdom and knowledge to, to be able to accumulate all that money. So if they're rich, they must, you know, they must have it all going on. They must have their life all figured out. Um, everything must be a bed of roses for them. If, if they're rich, then they must be really smart and, 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 and they must really know. And that is a false impression that we often give to rich people. And we often treat rich people with preferential treatment because they're rich. We think that the money and the wealth that they have does, you know, it causes them to deserve and to have more respect uh, from other people. And uh, so, and, and even James, uh, the book of Yaakov talks about this, uh, you know, that uh, even in synagogues, you know, beware of preferential treatment to somebody who's rich as opposed to a poor person. We need to treat everybody that's a brother or sister in Messiah Yeshua the same. It shouldn't matter about our ekio, uh, economic, uh, social economic status, right? Uh, but we have this false impression that if somebody's rich, then they're then they're smart, then they're wise, and that's just totally not true. And a a song that drives this home is uh, uh, from Fiddler on the Roof. If I were a rich man, you know, if I were a rich man, all day long I'd be dibbidi bum. If I were a wealthy man, I wouldn't have to work hard. Okay, all right, I'll spare you the rest. But I do want to quote to you some. Of the lyrics of this song that drive this verse home that we're focusing on today. It says, the most important men in town would come to fawn on me. They would ask me to advise them like Solomon the Wise. If you please, Reb Tevya, oh, pardon me, Reb Tevya, posing problems that would cross a rabbi's eyes. And this is the part I love. And it wouldn't make one bit of difference if I answered right or wrong. If you're rich, they think you really know. And boy, isn't that true. I mean, that just totally drives uh, the verse home that we're talking about today. Uh, but again, it says that a rich person is wise in his own eyes, but a discerning poor person sees right through them. So a lot of times, uh, one of the most misquoted scriptures of all times is the love of money is the root of all evil, right? People will say, nope, money is the root of all evil. No, that's not what the scripture says. It says the love of money is the root of all evil. Because wealth, material wealth, and money and possessions, they blind us to the important things of life, to family, to loyalty, to love, to compassion, to relationships, to integrity, to all these attributes that, that make us more godlike, the, these attributes that make us more like Yeshua. Material wealth and, 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 and uh, prosperity sometimes blinds us to these things, and, and we think that we're somebody more than we are when when we have wealth. Uh, and so that's the danger there. Uh, but it says, a rich person is wise in his own eyes, but a discerning poor person sees right through him. When you're poor and you don't have a lot of material possessions that take up your time and that you have to concern yourself with or look after or worry about, you focus more on the things that are important, the internal things, the love, the truthfulness, the integrity, you know, the, uh, the, the loyalty, uh, the compassion, the love, all these things that are important. So, you know, a lot of times, you know, rich people put on this front like they've got it all together and that their life is a bed of roses and, and your life should be like theirs. But behind closed doors, a lot of rich people have a tragic life, multiple divorces, estrangement from family and friends and children, um, you know, multiple scandals and, and, and lawsuits and all these kind of things. And a lot of them have alcohol or drug related problems or, you know, other pro other vices such as gambling or, you know, promiscuity, sexual promiscuity. So their life is usually a shame behind closed doors and money is what is facilitating that and is helping to perpetuate and enable them to continue living that way uh, so um, you know just because you don't have a lot of money don't worry about it focus more on the internal things on the important things and if you give to God God's gonna give back to you if you give what little you have you give the widow's might you have everything you give everything you have to live on God's gonna reward you and provide for you and give back money is not the most important thing money doesn't mean people's got it all together so just 
remember, stay humble. Be that poor discerning person that sees right through the sham of riches and, and, and that riches can cause blindness uh, to a lot of people and it can pull the proverbial wool over people's eyes through bribes or, or you know, scams or what have you. So uh, just remember, a rich person is wise in his own eyes, but a discerning poor person sees right through him. Thanks for watching. Shalom. Shavuot Tov. Have a great day, Thanks guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to press the like button as well as the subscribe button if you haven't done so already and the notification bell that'll let you know every time I make a new video. And don't forget to share this with a friend. Also, visit our website at abrahamsdescendants.com. Thanks. Shalom.